As we really like texture in our flat, we try to experiment as much as we possibly can. And we had three walls to cover that we hadn't decided on yet. So we thought we'd have a go at making some fabric panels. And what you can see here is the backing board that we're going to mount the fabric and the foam to. I want the light switch and the light to be recessed in the foam. So I was just cutting out the gaps so that we can put the cables behind. Because we've got some cables on the wall, I didn't really want to chisel out the brickwork. So I'm spacing off the panels with these pieces of timber so that they can run behind. It's our first time using this contact spray, but it worked really well. You have to apply it to both sides and then let it go tacky before applying it. But I thought the foam would peel off, but actually it, it stuck pretty solidly. There's a little bit of working time with it as well, so if it doesn't quite go down right, you can peel it back. I wanted the foam panels to stand out from each other, so I planned on chamfering the edges, and in order to get a nice regular chamfer, I went around and measured, measured the thickness to cut in and then marked it so that I could have a line to cut against. I started with a knife, but it was just getting really rough cut, so 20 pounds later and we've got one of these turkey saws and it cut really nicely. I found that as you pulled the foam, it helped guide the blade a bit better. So this is going to be where the light switch is and I thought it would look nice if it was recessed, so I cut the chamfers on here as well, and then later on pushed the fabric in. Couldn't get the turkey saw in here, so I had to use a knife. I think we probably did about six trips to the fabric shop because I kept underestimating how much we would need. but. We managed to get it in the end. Using the spray adhesive again for the fabric as well as the foam and it worked out nicely. When I did it first, I tried to do the whole fabric in one go and it ended up getting in a bit of a mess. So after that, I discovered that if you do it in two halves and sort of set one half, peel the other half back and then apply the adhesive to that, you can get a much better fix. It's that fabric that when you wipe it, it changes color, so I, I couldn't help myself. I think overall, we had about nine panels to make. You won't really see the sides because as each panel butts up against the next one, you're really only going to see the front and the chamfer. So I wasn't too concerned about the finish, but I did want it to be fixed. It's our first time working with fabric, so most of this was a bit of an experiment. And I wasn't sure those staples were gonna go through, but it worked out fine. So this is the light switch that we, or the light switch hole that we cut out earlier. And I was hoping we'd be able to stretch the fabric 
into the recess, which which it did. If it was flush mounted on the surface of the foam, I don't think the screws would have quite reached back to fix the surface of the switch on. I just decided to glue them to the wall in the end because any screws would make a mess and it would just be quite complicated. So we've got this really good adhesive in a tube. This space up here is really for guests or for my niece and nephew come over to play. So we wanted there to be a soft fabric covering on the wall to make it feel a little bit more comfortable up there. And also so that we can have a go with making something we haven't done before. Can't stop stroking those panels. <laughs> <laughs>